I was going to ask you what your perspective is from a craniosacral perspective on braces. But I feel like everyone's had braces at this point. So are we just it's, doing that? Is it necessary? And what are the causes and effects of shifting our palates and our teeth at that adolescent, such a pivotal age when our hormones are going crazy? I mean, I had braces, like yeah, everybody same. had braces. Yeah. And at the time, luckily, I grew up and it was like cool to have braces. Yeah, I was same. like, this is great. I don't know if it's still that way now or not. But regardless, there's a lot of I didn't have teeth pulled. But I know that there are a lot of people who've had braces who had to have teeth pulled mm -hmm. in order to get the braces to do the things mm -hmm. with or without the teeth pulling the teeth pulling is just adding to the component. But mm -hmm. there's nowhere else in the body that we're we're straining mm -hmm. to say, okay, this is how we're going to help grow. And we wouldn't do that. And when you think about the cranial bones, including the teeth, it's all meant to shift. It all does shift. It has its own breath. If we're restricting the teeth, you're restricting the cranium. And if there are malalignments in or malocclusions in the mouth, there's misalignments going on in the cranium. So by just doing here to make it cosmetically look pretty, mm -hmm. you're not addressing the root. And in fact, now you've almost solidified fired things up essentially you've made it where the body has now learned to have compensation patterns to form to this restriction plus permanent retainers right 